you hit someone on the high, this was the composition. You are supposed to give a hypha, a bull, and a goat. That is for an eye. So in case you hit someone now on the here, so you are supposed to give a hypha, a bull, and a goat. Right, great and many thanks for joining me. I'm Kelvin Blessing and you're watching the Ameru story. Thank you so much for deciding to follow the Ameru story. This is episode 4 and uh, season 1 of the Ameru story. And thank you for deciding to keep on following the story. Lastly, we learned more of the Ameru story. And today, I'll begin by giving you a sample of the video that we have done for you just to show you things that we have been uh, talking about. Have a look at this video. Great, welcome back and uh, with that sample of the video that I've been able to show you I think now you're in a position to understand what we have been able to talk about uh, since we began from episode 1 to now to the last episode that was episode 3 and today we're gonna talk about episode 4 and if you have been missing these uh, story and these episodes that we have been uh, recording you can follow on my social media platform actually you can be able to follow it our YouTube channel, we have been uploading every episode that we have been discussing here on my YouTube channel. Go search Kelvin Blessings, subscribe, share, and even comment. And away from that, now we go directly or uh, direct on what we are going to discuss today, where we are going to talk about Jorincheke, the, the Council of Elders. We're going to talk about the Council of Elders of Meru, that is Jorincheke. Don't go too far, I'll be back shortly with more details. Great and welcome back, you're watching the Ameru story. And today we are going to talk about the Ameru story. Uh, as we talk about the Ameru story, we want to base our talk today about Jorincheke as the Council of Elders from Meru. Uh, Johnny Cheke, the Council of Elders from May Resort, we're going to talk about. And uh, as we talk about Johnny Cheke, there are two things we want to learn more about Johnny Cheke. One is about the functions of the Council of Elders. That is now the Johnny Cheke. We want to know what were their functions in the Meru community. Still, Johnny Cheke exists now. So we, we want also to know what is the functions or what are the functions of the Council of Elders. Uh, and secondly, we are going to talk about qualifications to become a member of, can, uh, of, of the Jolin Cheke. So we can also to talk about what are some qualifications that you have to, uh, to have so that you can be a member of uh, Jolin Cheke as the Council of Elders of Meru. And now, we begin by first knowing the functions of the Council of Elders. We know we want to know what were expected of the Council of Elders in Meru community. So one function, or one function of the Council of Elders from Meru was to make and execute community laws. So uh, the Council of Elders from Meru were supposed to make and execute community laws. So the Council of Elders sat down and were like uh, the judiciary. So they were the people who were making laws. And after making these laws, they could make sure that they have executed uh, these laws. Secondly, uh, the Council of Elders, this is during check -in. they listened and settled community disputes. Among the male community, you know there are some disagreement and there are some uh, misunderstanding among each other. So the Council of Elders were now to, to sit down listen and set through community dispute so they were like the court so they were the final say they were the people who are dealing with different issues from the male community 
And then thirdly, uh, the Council of Elders, this is during Cheke from Meru community, they could decree a war and negotiate for peace. So the Council of Elders of Meru also sat down, they could decree upon a war and also they could negotiate for, a, uh, for, for, for peace. And number four, uh, the Council of Elders also maintained law and order. So they are like the police. They were the foreseers, they were the people who were looking uh, for the community. Everything they were, the people in charge. So they were, they, were the, the, they were the people to maintain law in the society, law in the community and even under. And then number five, function number five of the Council of Elders was that they led during the religious ceremonies. So Council of Elders, they handed that responsibility to lead the religious ceremonies and then number six they advised the warriors so among so many 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 uh, functions of the council of elders that is during cheke this is some of the main functions according to the male community that council of elders during cheke were in position to do and to summarize this we have a video that I will ask my director just to pray for you and this is about maintaining law and order and also like sitting down, reasoning and settling community dispute. I think this video is going to put you in a position to understand how the Meru Community Council of Elders during Cheke sat down and settled a dispute. Take a look of this video. Watu wailiingia uko uwanja wa Ntero uko parliament wakafanya maneno ambayo ni ile 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 itiyopendekana uko wakafanya dhambi wakaingilia uko hata na kupigana wakaingilia uko hata na kutoana ndamu wakaingilia uko hata na mapenzi wakaingilia na mambo mengi sababu ni watoto hawajui ile maneno ya hiyo uwanja ya, ya Njulincheke au ile nyumba ya Njulincheke nyumba ya Njulincheke iko na maneno kitu naitwa iko kitu naitwa na kimero ikanda ikanda iliwekelewa dot ili ma, ma, ili andui wasije kuchambulia meru nyingine ikawekelewa mtonyele ili waandui wasiingie kufanya nini lakini wakati walifanya hiyo madhambi huko sasa tunachikia wamero wanaingiliwa mali yao inakwenda kila mara kila mara waandui wanakuja wana wana wanachukua mali ya kemero ngombe ya wamero mbuzi ya wamero hata wanawake hata watoto wanaibwa sababu maneno yaligeuka walifanya madhambi huko uwanja wa Mchero now with that video you are in a position to understand how law and honda was maintained in the Meru society so you are in a position to to get all the details how the council of elders sat down listened and central community dispute so away from that now i want us to look uh, for three main bodies that make up the the, the jury check now so the, there are some bodies Within the Yorincheke uh, Council of Elders, inside it we have some other uh, some bodies. So these bodies are three. The first body we have uh, by the name called Kiama. So this was this dealt with the local dispute. So this was uh, the lower rank of the elders. So secondly, we have the middle rank called Juri. And then finally, we have now Yorincheke. So these three main bodies now come together and now make up the whole Jurincheke as the Council of Elders. Right, thank you so much. Remember you are watching the Ameri story with me, Kelvin Blessing. You can make a step of following this story on social media platform, Instagram, Kelvin Blessing, YouTube, Kelvin Blessing, Facebook, Kelvin Blessing, all platforms, Kelvin Blessing. And I believe that with that video, you're in a position to understand how the Council of Elders, that is the Yurincheke, 
sat down, listened and settled uh, some co uh, settled community dispute in a society. Away from that now, let's go to some three bodies. Three, uh, actually, the three bodies that make up uh, the, the Council of the, uh, Elders in Cheke Complete. These three bodies are as follows. We have Kiyama, we have Jori, and finally we have Yurincheke. So these are order that, uh, the, the order, I mean the bodies that make up now complete, uh, make up Yurincheke complete. After this Kiyama, secondly we have Jori, and finally we have now Yurincheke. Like Kiyama, Kiyama dealt with the local dispute within a society. So like in a community, so like those disputes like Mutua Meiva Kuku, such things and misunderstanding between a mother and a father, such things. Local disputes were dealt with Kiyama. They are according to the how serious the disputes are, according to how serious uh, the misunderstanding are. Now it was taken to the middle rank, that is Jody. And if the matter is becoming too big or well, very serious, it was now taken to Yurincheke. So those are the bodies and they were followed in case of any misunderstanding, in case of any dispute in a society. Let me take a commercial break. I'll be back shortly. Great, welcome back. Still you're watching the Ameru story with me, Kelvin Blessing. Now, there is something I want you to understand very well and very clearly that Yurincheke does not handle matters in moving and Imero people. Jurincheke doesn't handle matters involving non-Meru people. So anything that doesn't involve Meru people, Jurincheke didn't interfere or were not involved in such cases. So this tells us that Jurincheke only dealt with matters involving the Meru community. And uh, my director will give us a video right now so that you can see and you can get from some of the leaders from the Council of Elders this is a, that is Yurincheke, uh, explaining more about what Yurincheke deals with. Take a look of this video. American, Korea, Korea, Korea. 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 Mutu akaenda akotini akachukua ya akachukua vitu ya mwingine akasema ni yake na koti kaona kweli ni ya utu. Mtu akikuja hapa kwetu eh, wa wase ule mwenye anapatua na koti akakeuka aka, akachema eh hey, mimi nafanya nasema uongo hii vitu ni ya utu. Mimi wa wase mpatie. Na hiyo tukachukua tukampatia. Hii kesi ya wase ni kesi ila ina inakuwa ni watu wawili akokaenda kupatia mtu kitu yako alafu akakataa naye ukikuja hapa kwa wase ukikuwa unakataa naye ukikuja wase utapatia wase akupatia hiyo ni kesi inaonekana wasi ati mtu akiwa na ukora kubwa na pale pale nje ya wase akikuja kwa wase ye mwenyewe anaitikia mwito wa wase akasema Eh hey, hii bitu shukueni mbatie mwenyewe mimi sitaki kula ke hapo na hiyo ke hapo ya wase si ati ni ke hapo ati ukipatua ke hapo saa hii ukienda nyumbani ati uta, utapotea na bitu ya mtu utapatea na bitu ya mtu kazi yetu ni kuangalia ukweli wakati watu wetu wanafanya kesi si ya mira peke yake ni kesi yoyote ile inahusiana na community ya ya yembe community sisi tunashukulisa kuwakilisa na kushuluisa kiaki na kiukweli hiyo ndio kazi yetu na ingine naye kuligana na pile structures ya serikali inapangwa mipangilio ya serikali inapangiliwa njuri haina aingili upande wa siasa yoyote Alright, and we are back still watching the Ameru story with Mikel B. Blessing. Remember, about today we said we are going to talk about two things. One, we are going to talk about the functions of the Council of Elders, that is during Cheke, what we have been talking about currently. And now, we are going to talk about qualifications 
to be a member of uh, Council of Elders or the qualifications to be a member of Jury Check-in. So, to be selected or to be chosen to be, um, uh, to be among, among the Council of Elders or to become a member was not done very easily. So the, the members of the community, Jury check members, selected very carefully. And for you to become a member of the Council of Elders, these are some of the qualifications. One, you must be mature. And mature didn't mean that you are very old. You know, you understand our mature person age. Secondly, you must be respected. And then uh, thirdly, you must be composed. And then finally, you must be incorruptible. So these are some of the qualifications for you to become a member of the Council of Elders. Actually, these are some of the qualifications among so many qualifications that you have to undergo. You can't just go and apply or just request to be a member of the Council of Elders, that is Chodin Cheke, and just uh, you are around like that. No, you are, there's some things, factors that were considered so that you can be selected to become a member of Chodin Cheke. You are not allowed to be corrupt person as a member of community. So among so many things that you are, that were supposed to be discussed in a community. So we want us to know what are reasons, what are the reasons why the members of the Council of Elders, before they considered you, they were to look at these conditions or they were to consider and fix you in these conditions. One, this is because their work was so great because when you are chosen to become a council of elders, I mean a member of council of elders, much was expected of you. So, like uh, one thing, why you, they selected very carefully was because they needed a great wisdom. So they have to see from you if you have great wisdom. Secondly, personal discipline. Also, they, 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 they consider your personal discipline and the knowledge of the traditions. So, you know, in Meru community, we have so many traditions. So, you can become a member of Jodicheke if you are not aware of Jodicheke, you are not aware of how to solve conflict, you are not aware of anything involving a tradition. So, like a person from Kiambu, a person from Moranga, a person from Mombasa, so, because you are not a male community, even if you apply to become a member of Council of Elders, you cannot because you have no knowledge of the traditions of the male. Great, and now let me take a short commercial break. I'll be back with the big question of the male story. Don't go too far. Great, and now we come to the big question of the male story. And our big question today comes from Benjamin Mugambi, the Jorincheke Deputy Secretary General. And this is the question. Nesumumzia ni mambo kuhusu watoto. Yani watoto wamedhurumiwa zaidi. Unaona mtoto wamedhurumiwa, anatundukiswa mimba, na hii mambo tunasema ya kwamba kama ni mwanaume amefanya hii, mwanaume kamiri, ashukuliwe sheria, kulingana vile serikali sheria imewekwa ya nchi lakini kuna jambo la ajabu hapa sana unakuta mtoto wa miaka 14 na mwingine wa 14 wamekutana hapa ni sheria gani ni kijana mbaya au ni mchichana tunataka wasomi waende wafanye research udhabiti wa tokenajia ili watoto wafanyiwe maarifa ya, ya kutosha and that is the question of the Ameru story now Share your comment on my social media platform, Kelvin Blessing Facebook, Kelvin Blessing Instagram, and Twitter at Kelvin Blessing. Great, and now we come to the end of our program today. I can't fail to appreciate you, my viewer, for following this story up to the end of it. Now, followed by my crew, led by Vini, my sound engineer, Jimmy, my cameraman, and Enri Nyabuto. My director, I'm Kelvin Blessing. See you next time.